Hello, Pro V here. Today we're going to begin our enteric lab. And one of the principal things to use to differentiate the enterics, uh, which are gram negative, there's a certain characteristics that organisms have to meet in order to be enterics. They have to be gram negative, they must ferment glucose, they must reduce nitrate to nitrite, uh, they are nitrate to nitrate positive, and if they're modal, they're paratrichously flagellated. So there are a bunch of gram-negative organisms, but in order to be considered a true enteric, they have to meet those characteristics. This lab today will help us to differentiate the enterics themselves. On the first test we're gonna do is called the oxidase test. The oxidase test can be done many different ways. One of the easiest ways to do it is to just put a little bit of the colony on a swab and then put a little bit of the oxidase reagent on there. The oxidase reagent will turn purple if it's oxidase positive, and it will not turn a color within 10 seconds if it's oxidase negative. So those organisms that are oxidase positive are typically considered aerobes, and they belong to the groups of organisms that would see pseudomonas or alkaligenes. Those organisms that would be negative, that wouldn't turn purple, would be considered an enteric and uh, they would be within the groups of all the other organisms we've been working with in the lab, Escherichia, Klebsiella, Proteus, um, Serratia, um, Enterobacter, all those different types of organisms, okay? So first of all, be sure you have your PPE. I'm, I'm not wearing an apron, I'm gonna go ahead and wear my lab coat. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on, and um, we do not have flames in this particular lab. So what we're going to be doing is using sterile uh, loops and other things like this to, to do and facilitate the labs. So I have cultures here of E. coli and alkaligenes faecalis. And so we're going to go ahead and do the oxidase test for these two organisms. I'm going to do the one that should be positive first. So I'm going to go ahead and place my safety glasses on, go ahead and take a sterile cotton applicator swab, come in here, come into and grab a little bit of the organism off the surface of the media. So I've got a little bit of the organism on the surface, then come over here and put a little bit of the reagent, this is the oxidase reagent, put a little bit of the reagent onto the organism itself. If it turns purple, within 10 seconds and you can see it's already purple, then it's positive. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here for just a second. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same test with a different swab for one that would be negative. And so this is going to be E. coli. So I'm gonna come in here, grab a little bit of the organism. You can see it's E. coli. Grab a little bit of the organism off the surface and I'm gonna go ahead and place a little bit of the reagent on it, just like this. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, and you can see it didn't turn a color. Oxidase positive, oxidase negative. Oxidase positive means that it has certain types of enzymes in its metabolic schema that allow it to be positive, okay? So remember, enterics are going to be oxidase negative. Non-enterics are going to be oxidase positive. I'll see you again next time.